I'm Rob Whitfield with the Orange County Register, and welcome to OCN2 for Thursday, April 17th. The owner of an underground swingers club in Orange says he's shutting the club's doors and leaving town. Club Amnesty operated out of a warehouse for three years. It recently received a notice of violations from the city of Orange, spelling out numerous building and fire code violations. The notice also says Club Amnesty misrepresented itself when it applied for a business license, stating it was a nude photography studio when the club was actually a hub for swingers, a sex club. The owner says he can't fix everything in the notice, so he's shutting down. The city says it's not singling out Club Amnesty, that swingers clubs aren't illegal if they comply with city requirements, which Club Amnesty wasn't. A $5,000 reward is being offered for information leading to the arrest of a person who attacked a Westminster woman earlier this year. Coon Kim had a stroke and died after being doused with pepper spray during a purse snatching. Kim drove into the carport of her apartment complex at Van Buren Street on February 17th. That's where a woman described as being in her 20s or 30s attacked her. Kim made it to her apartment and told her family what happened. She wasn't feeling well and was taken to the hospital where she later had a stroke and died four days later. Hate crimes are down in Orange County. A report that will be released today shows a 20% drop from last year. The OC Human Relations report says the county had 81 recorded hate crimes in 2007. Reported hate incidents, however, such as shouting slurs or racist pamphlets that aren't considered crimes, went up by 14%. African Americans are still targeted the most, even though they make up only about 2% of Orange County's population. Attorneys for former Sheriff Mike Corona and his co-defendants in a public corruption case have filed a motion to move the trial out of Orange County. The submitted motion does not state why Corona's team wants the trial moved, but lead defense attorney Brian Sun had previously stated that the trial needs to be moved away from Southern California because the hosts of the John and Ken show on KFI AM are intentionally trying to poison the jury pool. Weekdays, watch Daybreak OC from 6 to 8 a.m. on KDOC and catch Real Orange weekday evenings at 6.30 on KOCE. To read more about all of these stories and to get your breaking news all day, click on OCRegister.com.